It's no wonder that criminal activity may pay far more than any lawful work. Despite many countries taking significant solutions to eliminate illegal activity, we live in an environment where it continues to grow. Many individuals enter the criminal community because it offers numerous advantages. Human trafficking, drug smuggling, arms trafficking, and various other businesses bring in a lot of money for these individuals. Many of history's most infamous offenders have amassed vast fortunes but are still experiencing imprisonment. Today, I'm going to show you the top 10 richest criminals in the world of all time. Before the start of the video, make sure to leave a like. And if you want to see more content, subscribe to the channel. Let's get started. Number 10. Frank Lucas Frank Lucas was a drug smuggler from the United States who operated in Harlem in the late 1960s and early 1970s. Lucas was born in the United States on September 9, 1930. He was famous for bypassing middlemen in the drug trade and purchasing drugs directly from his source in Southeast Asia's Golden Triangle. As portrayed in the feature film American Gangster, which fictionalized elements of his life, Lucas boasted that he imported drugs using the coffins of deceased American service members. In his lifetime, Lucas estimated to have sold $1 million worth of heroin a day and to have a net worth of over $52 million in addition to a vast supply of liquid assets, including heroin. He passed away in New Jersey on May 30th, 2019, at the age of 88. Number 9. Al Capone Alphonse Gabriel Capone, also known as Scarface, was an American gangster and merchant who rose to prominence as the co-founder and boss of the Chicago Gang during the Prohibition period. At the age of 33, his seven-year reign as a drug lord came to an end when he was sentenced to jail. Al Capone was born in Brooklyn, New York in January 1899. Al Capone died on January 25, 1947, at the age of 47 after having a stroke and going into cardiac arrest. At the time of his death, Al Capone's net worth was around $100 million. Number 8. Joseph P. Kennedy Sr. Joseph Patrick Kennedy Sr. was a well-known businessman, investor, and legislator in the United States. Kennedy was born in East Boston, Massachusetts to the political background. As a financial exchange and commodities trader, he amassed a vast wealth, which he subsequently reinvested in real estate and a variety of company sectors throughout the United States. Joseph Kennedy is the one who earned a fortune selling alcoholic beverages. By selling drinks to the country's banned zones, he amassed a fortune of $400 million. Despite the fact that alcohol was prohibited at the moment, he was able to make a lot of money by putting in a lot of work and resources. Number 7. Joaquin El Chapo Guzman Joaquin Arquivaldo Guzman Loera, commonly known as El Chapo because of his 5-foot height. El Chapo is a Mexican drug lord and former leader of the Sinaloa Cartel. Sinaloa Cartel is actually an international crime syndicate. El Chapo is widely regarded as the world's most powerful drug trafficker. Guzman was born and raised in Sinaloa in a poor agricultural family. During his early childhood, he became involved in the narcotics trade by assisting his father in possessing marijuana for local dealers. By the late 1970s, Guzman collaborated with Hector Luis Palma Salazar, one of the country's most powerful drug lords. He assisted Salazar in plotting cocaine trafficking paths across Sinaloa and into the United States. In the mid-1980s, he oversaw logistics for Miguel Angel Felix Gallardo, one of the country's most powerful drug lords. But after Gallardo's capture in 1988, Guzman formed his own cartel. He used to produce cocaine, heroin, and marijuana. Guzman had a net worth of $1 billion. Number 6. Griselda Blanco Griselda Blanco Restrepo, yet another woman amongst richest criminals, best known as the Black Widow worldwide. Well, I'm not talking about Scarlett Johansson. Jokes apart, she was a Medellin Cartel Colombian drug kingpin and a leader of the Miami cocaine drug trade and crime in the early 2000s. She was responsible for close to 2,000 murders during smuggling drugs from Colombia to New York, Miami, and California. 
On September 3, 2012, she was shot and killed at the age of 69. Blanca was one of the world's wealthiest and most dangerous women, as well as the world's most successful drug lord. She's the world's first female billionaire convict, running her multi-billion dollar cocaine dealing enterprise with an iron hand and becoming one of history's most dangerous people. She has an estimated net worth of $2 billion. Number 5. Dawood Ibrahim Dawood Ibrahim Kaskar is an Indian underworld king and drug lord who has eluded capture. He was born on December 26, 1955 in Dongri, India. Dawood Ibrahim runs the Indian organized crime syndicate called The D Company, which was founded in Mumbai in the 1970s. Dawood is wanted for terrorism, murder, extortion, deliberate killings, narcotics dealings, and a slew of other offenses. In 2003, India and the United States named him as a global terrorist and also put a 25 million USD bounty on his head for the alleged involvement in the 1993 Bombay bombings. The FBI and Forbes called him number three on their list of world's 10 most wanted fugitives in 2011. Ibrahim controls 75% of the world's heroin trafficking. However, he's involved in a number of other businesses, including diamonds, gold, and real estate. With an estimated net worth of $6.7 billion, he is also among the richest criminals in the world. Number 4. Leona Helmsley Leona Mindy Roberts Helmsley was a convicted criminal and a successful American businesswoman. Her flamboyant attitude and notoriety for tyranny gave her the title Queen of Mead. Helmsley was found guilty on August 30th of one count of conspiring to defraud the U.S. Three charges of tax avoidance, three counts of filing fraudulent personal tax returns, 16 counts of aiding with the filing of false corporate and partnership tax returns, and 10 counts of postal theft. Leona Helmsley will be known forever for making one of the most disrespectful comments ever made. Quote, we don't pay taxes, only the little people pay taxes. She had a net worth of $8 billion. Number three. Semyon Mogilevich Semyon is a Russian organized crime boss. He soon established a well-organized crime enterprise in the style of a typical American mafia family. Well known as the boss of bosses of most Russian mafia syndicates in the world by European Union and US agencies. Also considered the most dangerous mobster in the world by the FBI. Arms trafficking, contract killings, kidnapping, drug smuggling, and prostitution on a global scale have all been charged against him by the FBI. With an estimated net worth of $10 billion, he is third among the richest criminals. Simeon currently lives freely in Moscow and has three children. Number 2. Amado Carrillo Fuentes Amado Carrillo Fuentes was a Mexican drug lord. He took over the Juarez cartel after his boss, Rafael Aguilar Guarno, was assassinated. Fuentes is also known as El Señor de los Cielos, which means the Lord of the Skies. Now, you might ask why he goes by that name, right? Because he used to transport drugs through the large fleet of jets. He was also famous for using Colombia to launder money in order to fund this fleet. His fortune as a member of the Mexican cartel is about $25 million. He is the second amongst the richest criminals of all time. He was very well known at the moment, and he appears to be well known with any post on illegal activity. Surprisingly, he had plastic surgery so that the police will not be able to pursue him at any point. His bodyguards, on the other hand, assassinated him as he was having his face changed. Number 1. Pablo Escobar Probably the most well-known drug lord in the present century is Pablo Escobar. Pablo Escobar is unrivaled in his profession. The king of cocaine amassed a fortune that made him the wealthiest criminal in history, and also one of the wealthiest individuals on the planet. For several years, he had a near monopoly over the drug trade in the United States. His empire is unrivaled in literature, and when read aloud, it almost seems made up. Every month, his organization brought in 70 to 80 tons of cocaine into the United States, accounting for 80% of the country's sum, as well as hundreds of tons into countries in every region except Antarctica. He made $420 million a week as a result of this. 
Pablo's wealth gave him a lot of leverage. So he could bribe politicians or have them murdered if they refused to accept his bribes. Escobar ranked the seventh wealthiest man in the world by Forbes magazine with a net worth of $30 billion. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on post notifications to see more of our future videos. With that said, keep enjoying our videos, and I'll see you in the next video.